yeah, so I think you know one of the one of the value of uh, values of medical meetings is kind of uh, you know the abstract presentations where you kind of get a glimpse into the current state even before it's publication publication ready or far enough along. And so I definitely share share that you know excited to see you know uh, medical updates from um, the antisense oligonucleotide trials um, to follow up on um, the press release from uh, Analyx about the their Centaur study. Uh, to learn more about uh, the results that they were seeing there, things that we didn't get to do this year because uh, because of these uh, meeting cancellations. Um, the in terms of research, you know, the the basic science exploration of ALS and the genetic uh, exploration of ALS has been you know continuing to to roll out. I won't talk about anything in particular, but that but that has continued unabated. Um, lots of places have been able to uh, be you know. They've had to halt in-person benchtop research, but that's given people an opportunity to submit uh, papers based on the data that they've generated already. And so, uh, lots of exciting stuff coming up, helping us to understand the explore, you know, the mechanisms of ALS, and help guide, you know, therapeutic development towards some some of those targets. I mean, I alluded to the Amalek study. That's the one that has uh, has press released that they hit their clinical endpoints. Um, and so we're all excited to see, um, you know, officially how strongly they hit those endpoints, what the what the effect was. But um, but that one is very exciting. Um, lots of patients are, uh, you know, in advance of the FDA being able to deal with an application on that, you know, trying to source um, the two components of that of that study uh, from overseas. We we actually get a lot of phone calls about how to do that. So, um, so we're all excited about that, and then we also are anticipating, you know, that the follow-up will be complete for uh, a stem cell therapy uh, called Neurone, mm -hmm. and uh, we're hoping that you know to hear about that sometime in the fall uh, or early uh, or over the winter, and that's you know a very um, heavily anticipated um, study, uh, the, the results of which will guide lots of therapeutic ideas, you know, moving forward.